Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks on Tour. And in this video, I'm going to show, I'm going to answer the question, how do I give all of my photos of somebody to that person? The key to this technique is that both you and the person you're giving the photos to must be using Google Photos. If you are, it's incredibly easy. Let me show you how. This could be done on a mobile device, but I think it'll be easier to see on the computer. So I'm on a web browser and I go to my Google Photos. The first thing is to find the face grouping of the person you want because Google has already done most of the work for you. So this is Alan and I'm going to be sending all of these photos to Alan. All I have to do is click where it says share as album. It's creating an album for me. I'll give the album a name and then click share up in the upper right. Notice because I'm starting with the face grouping, it's automatically adding new photos of that same face. That's cool. Now I just tell it who I want to send it to. And there's Alan right there. If the person you want isn't showing up immediately on your list, just type it, start typing the name or email up here. Alan and send. Now Alan will be receiving a notice that you've sent this album of photos to him, but you can still make additions, changes, deletions, it will be dynamic. Whenever he opens it, he will see whatever you've done. So for example, I have two of the same one. I'm going to remove this one from the album. I'm not deleting it from my library. I still have that picture, but it no need to send him two. And you can do that more than one. I This one and this one and this one, lots of lots of duplicates in here. So I'm just deleting a few. And now I click the three dot menu and remove from album. And by the same token, I could add other pictures. If there was pictures that didn't get included in the face grouping, or I want to send pictures of something else. Now that you have created the album and sent it to Alan, what happens on Alan's end. So now I am signed into Google Photos with Alan's account. And if I look in the sharing section, I will see that album of Chris's photos of Al Alan. I can look at any of them I want. I can peruse the album to my heart's content, but they are not in my library until I save them. I can save, I could save just one picture to the library if I wanted to. I could click on that picture and click save. It is now copied to Alan's library. But if I am looking at the album and I click on this little cloud, save photos, now the entire album has been saved to Alan's library. But where are they? If I look at photos, well, I see a few of them because they have early dates, but I don't see all of them. That's because they go in order by date taken. So if a photo was taken in 2010, it will show up down in 2010. So how is Alan going to see all the photos that I sent to him? You have to click on Explore on a mobile that would be re Search and then Recently Added. Now it has changed the photo order to show all the ones that were added today versus the ones that were taken today. Now it's easy to see all of the photos that were sent in that album and Alan can make his own album. I click on one end, I shift click on the other. I have selected 52 pictures that were all added today and I click the plus and make my own album, new album, 
and I will give it a name of photos from Chris. Photos of Alan from Chris. And I have successfully now sent Alan all the pictures from my library and he has copied them to his library.